Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Sarah and today's topic is going to be keyboard shortcuts. Now I just opened this part up and I noticed that there are some features in the tree, but I don't see a part on the screen. So the first shortcut is the F key. If I hit F on the keyboard, the part appears on the screen. It was just zoomed out so far that I couldn't see it. So if I zoom in, zoom out, rotate it around, no matter what you want to do with it, as soon as you hit F on the keyboard, it will auto size it based on the screen. Now the next keyboard shortcuts are the control plus one through eight on the keyboard. So if I hold down control and select one, it'll give me my front view. Control two is the back, three is the left, and so forth. If you're not sure what orientation you're in, if you look to the left hand side of the screen under the triad, you'll see that it says left. So we can just continue through. Control five is your top, six is the bottom. Now control seven is actually an isometric view. Control eight is normal too. Now with control eight, I could select a different face. So if I pre-select this face and then say control eight, I will look normal to that face. If you hit control eight again, you just look to the back side of it. Control seven, and now I'm back to my isometric view. Now I notice in the bottom left of this little part, there's a little feature there, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Now I could zoom in to take a look at it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit G on my keyboard. What that does is it brings up a magnifying glass. So if I zoom in on this by pulling my cursor wheel forward, so I'm pulling the wheel forward, I can zoom in just on that isolated area and see that it's just a little hex, uh, hex cut in the bottom left of this part. If I push my scroll wheel away, it zooms out. So scroll wheel pulling toward you zooms in and away zooms out. And what's nice is it's attached to my cursor so wherever I want to take a look at this part, I can magnify in on that specific area. And that is G on the keyboard. Now another keyboard shortcut is the S key. Now what's nice about the S key is it actually pulls up a little toolbar that's customizable. So if I right click on this toolbar and go to customize, I can make bring in any tool that I want to use and add it to this keyboard or this uh, menu just by drag and dropping it. If I don't want a specific tool in there, I can just drag it right back out again. Now that's S on the keyboard, and what's nice too is it's wherever my cursor is located. So if I'm over here and I click S, there's my little toolbar. Now I'm gonna start a sketch on this face. Let's just look normal to that. I'm gonna grab my line tool, and I'm just gonna start sketching on this, and I wanna create a tangent arc. Now this one's an oldie but a goodie, but I want to make a tangent arc from this line. Now I could escape out of this line tool and grab my tangent arc tool, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit A on the keyboard. And what that does is it takes me right to my tangent arc tool. Hit A again, and it goes right back to a regular line. So A toggles on, but it also toggles off. Some of you may know the, the shortcut where if you hover over the end point of a line, that too will also make a tangent arc. But if you hover over it again, it's still a tangent arc. This is where A on the keyboard will help you out because that will still toggle that line on or off. Okay. Now, the next keyboard shortcut I wanna talk about is the space bar. And I'm just gonna cancel out of this. Now, the space bar is also an orientation dialog box as well. So this is another way where you can go to your front, top, right views. Now it disappeared on me, but if I hit spacebar again, there is a push pin. So if I put the push pin down, now it will stay to the screen and I can see all my orientations using this method. Now if you notice, as I hover over these tools, it does show the keyboard sh uh, shortcut that's associated with that. So just another way of manipulating those orientations. I'm going to go back to control seven. And now another shortcut that I want to talk about is how we can go through and reduce toolbars so that we may have more screen size or, or more screen area. Now, before I do that though, I want to hit on F8. Now what F8 does is it brings up this display pane. Let me click on it again to turn it off. 
but there's these two little double arrows right by your feature tree. And if you click on those, you might not have seen those before. But what it does is it toggles on an area where you can manipulate your transparencies. You can change your different view settings. You can add colors. So it's just a nice little shortcut menu in itself, but that's activated through F8 as well. So maybe I want to click on the color, appearance, and let's just make it blue. Just change up the color a little bit. So now I can just toggle this back in, tuck it back in, and now we can continue on with our work. Now another way to kind of give more screen space is if I hit F9. F9 takes away the feature tree, and it's only temporary. If I hit F9 again, it brings it back. There's these little toggle arrows here as well that do the same thing. So that's F9 on the keyboard. I can also take away my ribbon toolbar by hitting F10. F10 takes that away, but it also brings it right back. Now I'm going to hit F10 and F9, and now you can really take advantage of all that screen space. Now as soon as I hit F8 again, pardon me, F9, it's kind of nice to know that you can just turn on the display pane by itself. Uh, now I can just go back, check any of my features that I needed to work on. So that was just a quick overview of some of the keyboard shortcuts. One last thing is where you can add or look at those keyboard shortcuts. If you just right click on your ribbon menu, go down to customize, and go over to keyboard on the tab, there's going to be a listing of all your keyboard shortcuts. For parts, assemblies, and drawings, you can print those out and you can add new ones. To add a new one, just click in the shortcut dialog box, type in a letter or control plus a letter, alt plus a letter, uh, shift plus a letter, and if there's something already associated with it, it'll tell you what it is, and you can either override it or you can create something new. Well, thanks for your time, and thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you go to caddimensions.com to check out some of our other tech tip videos. Thank you. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.